Hello, welcome back to the Eastern Front for Phase 2 of Dissonance in Regiments. Uh, we did okay last time, and I made a few tactical mistakes I'm going to try and rectify in this video. Um, all we need to do in Phase 2 of this operation is get, get to 100 victory points. So as long as we don't lose the two um, victory point locations, we're golden. So our main objective will be to try and get as many operational authority points as possible to increase the strength of our regiment for the upcoming operations. Now, one thing I missed out in the last video is we actually get some a little bit of story through um, operation logs uh, that come through every time you complete a phase. So we got two for phase one, I actually got another two for phase two, which we're about to go into. So I'll just quickly read those out. They're very short. The first one here is, not everyone in 4th Mochi Division was easily swayed to the new cause. A company worth of troops is still fighting near Ladderback. Break in Suckerman and help them out. And that is the group that are holding that town that we saw in phase one. Then we've got something about the Free Republic Deutschland. Free Republic, Free Deutsche Republic. I'm having a hard time finding any mention of how this name came to be. Was this a reference to Es Lieb de Freie Deutsche Republic? I tried to pronounce that well. From the proclamation of the Republic in 1918? Anyway, the Republic was as enigmatic as its name. No central authority, no major leaders. It was more of an idea that spread like wildfire among diverse groups and military formations, along with its simple but memorable heraldry, which is just FRD. Then for phase two, we get a couple more bits of information. Thorns. Rebels have sure reassessed the situation by now. Expect them to arrive in numbers, and real soon. So that's from Headquarters, 7 Panzer Division. Now, we are Panzer Regiment 16, which is a part of 7 Panzer Division. And what we were told in the Situation Report, or something earlier on, oh, this is just from this last uh, mission, we were told that we have managed to get ahead of the rest of the Panzer Regiment. They're stuck in traffic. <laughs> so we're on our own here, and we don't have a lot of reinforcements. We're probably going to get outnumbered in this engagement. Afghanistan. When you look back, the whole thing seems almost inevitable, like a curse. First, Afghanistan, like a small but lethal knife wound for the suffocating Soviet Empire. 40th Army tried to staunch the blood. The expanded deliveries of Milans and Stingers to the Mujahideen made it so much harder. Blood was in the water, and there was far too many young sharks out there, tired of the old ways, tired of geriatric rulers. Confusion in Moscow, power-hungry elites, a populace that had enough, and millions of tons of munitions prepared for the apocalypse of World War III. You can hardly imagine a more volatile combination. So you can see that this this alternate past has uh, gotten a little bit hotter than what we want. I don't even mean, know if Afghanistan happened, but they're obviously taking a little bit further. So, going back to getting ready for this next engagement, we have 156 operational authority points to spend. Now, what I could do is I could reinforce our units. For example, we only have three Heinz at the moment, and it deploys two of them. So the two dots show how many of each vehicle gets deployed when the unit is sent into the battlefield, and then the number to the left is how many we have total. So if I was to lose another two Heinz, I wouldn't be able to reinforce this unit back to full strength. So I could spend 11 points to gain another hind, or you know to get another T-72, or I could spend them down here to increase my deployment points, my tactical support points, my supplies, which is probably all good, or I could pick up a task force. Now, not only can I get these task forces, these task forces level up as well. We had a look at these last time. I've got the T-55As, which eventually will get upgraded to T-55AM2s, which I believe means that they get... Um, ATGMs, not ATGMs, tow rockets. Um, also comes with some mortars as well at max level. The Apparat Mechanized Task Force here levels up to have a BPM, BMP-1P and some Godzika, which are proper artillery pieces, and I also get an off-map artillery strike. Um, the Tambov Mechanized Task Force gets upgraded to, actually, yeah, BTR uh, Assault Engineers is what they change to, and we get an artillery barrage. But I really like the Birik Command Group. It comes with um, HQ uh, units at the start with these command these command vehicles don't fight but what they do do is they fast vastly improve the performance of units around them um, and they kind of they kind of force you to centralize your units a little bit but it means you can hold a line really really well with them and they also give us um, an su-17 napalm strike which is very very useful that upgrades eventually to give me another unit of t-72 m1s which i'm pretty happy with so we're going to grab this it's going to cost 125 operational authority points um did that yeah call him and we can, for 50 operational points, level this up, which we will do sooner rather than later. Now, we have quite a lot of deployment points. I think we're pretty good on this. What I'm going to buy is some more supplies, uh, just because I want to make sure we're not running out of supplies. We actually ran out of supplies towards the, la the end of that last engagement, and I don't want us to run into that situation again. So let's go to events now. Um, we've got a few events that are going on here. We could get um, air tactical aid to 50% cheaper, which is quite good, um, especially getting an additional air tactical aid, or five minutes longer in the phase, or we could take a negative event, which means that refitting and retre refitting retreated or redestroyed platoons will take much longer. I'm actually going to take the negative event for this engagement. This is a pretty easy phase. Um, we're going to deal with some counterattacks here, but we don't have to do too much. And I want to keep the positive ones for when we get further into this engagement. So it is now um, 10 a.m. Uh, time for phase two. Let us go to battle.
And one of the things I'm going to focus on doing a little bit more here is more flank attacks, better use of smoke, and also bringing my infantry in closer before I disembark them from their vehicles. Because the way I was using them in the last engagement, they weren't actually using their RPGs or their assault rifles. They were too far away. So we need to get them in a bit closer. So you have to watch out for that. If you're giving attack moves with vehicles, they will stop when, they're, when their longest range weapon is in range and fire, which is great for tanks and great for the hinds because I don't actually want them to be engaging at long range. Uh, at close range, but I do want my, my infantry to be engaged at close range. So here's the battlefield as we left it last time. You can see that we've now got a, a BTR-70 with some riflemen enforcing, reinforcing all of the points we've taken, which will help us defend and hold them. Um, we also have persistent uh, veterancy on all of our units, so our T-72s from last time are showing the veterancy they took. Uh, mainly my main objective here, obviously we need to hold ladder back east and west, those are our victory point conditions, those are our win conditions. I'm pretty sure we can rely quite heavily on the AI to do that for us. I would really like to try and take facility and NASA and hold them at the end of the engagement, which means that I will gain another uh, 125 um, operational authority points, which is a which is a lot. It is a lot, but we need to make sure we can do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call in a BDR. Mm, I could call in the BDRM twos. I also want to call in these uh, command vehicles. Um, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to bring the Shilka back. I don't actually need them. Uh, there's been no sign of any enemy air units at all. So I don't think I need the Shilka right now. So I'm going to retreat those and we'll use them to call in. Hopefully we'll have enough for the R145 BMs. But for now, I'm going to get BDRM-70 and I'm going to bring it over here. And the plan is we're going to put it in this hill over here looking down on facility. And hopefully we'll be able to detect what units are here before we attack. I'm also going to just very quickly arrange my vehicles before I unpause into defensive positions. Actually, we'll put them in the tree line here. What's the vision like from here? Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, so that they're entrenched in case we get a counterattack, because I'm pretty sure the main theme of this uh, battle is going to be counterattacks. Okay, that's okay there. Shookers are there. We are, our helicopters are here. They're fully armed and repaired. We're going to bring them up here. Our Sani, um, I'm going to retreat them to reinforce the vehicles. There's only four of those in the squad right now. Our supply trucks are also good, so we're going to bring them up to here. Let's unpause the game. We also have an infantry unit here. I'm going to bring them up here. I'm just going to hide them in the forest for now. And let's make sure that they, yeah, they've automatically gone into the into their 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 um, their vehicles. If you give a, an infantry unit a long movement order, it will automatically get into its vehicles. I'm also just going to set up some control groups. Our tanks are going to be control group one. Our hinds are going to be control group two. Let's retreat the Shoka. And let's see what the enemy has in store for us. We're just going to retreat the Sani. Um... Everything else is moving forward. I'm just going to spend a couple of minutes consolidating here. I want to make sure that I'm not pushing into an engagement at the same time that the enemy is actually trying to fight me. So I'm just going to give them a move order to here. I want to set them to hold fire. And I'm going to bring them up here. So the BDRM-2s, I believe, have ground radar, which is what they use to detect enemies very, very far away. It might be a more advanced recon unit that has the ground radar. But as long as they stay hidden in these trees, they should be able to look down into most of the facility. Obviously, they can't see through too much of the hedgerow, but they can see through a little bit of it, and they'll get us an idea of what is there. No sign of any enemy units yet. If we leave our tanks and our riflemen here, what you'll see in a second is they will dig in. Also, you can see now we've got quite a lot of tactical support points for smoke and heavy artillery, which is what we're going to be trying to use as much as possible. What we'll probably do is we'll break off the BTR-70 rifleman unit and the T-72 um, and the rifleman and engage this um, point from two different directions at once and smoke it out um, while we leave the T-72 here to defend. I have enough for the R145 BDM, so let's bring that up. So these vehicles, if we have a quick look at them, no, no weapons on them. They are just command and control units. Um, looks like a big radar antenna and a few different radio receivers. BDRM2 have arrived at their first destination. Have they taken up? Yeah, they've taken up their second orders. Cool. A lot of people have pointed out this game's very similar to War Game, which it is, but the scale is much smaller, at least to start off. We just have our regiment. We don't get access to like a whole air for our whole military. We don't get access to repeatable plane assets. We now have the ability to call in um, a napalm strike, but we don't get a plane that we can call in to provide cast permanently, etc. Just having a sip of coffee while we get this started. So things are going a bit slowly here. Um, we don't want to rush. That's the biggest mistake we can make, is to rush too hard. We need to make sure we've got our recon in position before we make a decision on what we're doing. Um, that is probably the biggest way we can we can cause ourselves a real big mischief. If I bring the supply up here, they should be pretty well protected. You can't really see back there from outside, and they can re reinforce these units here. 
We can also use the hinds in our engagement um, against facility as well. And we can use them to attack from an interesting angle, like maybe over here in towards, maybe shooting the units in the back um, to attack their rear armor. That's what we need to try and um, take advantage of as much as possible. Um, we can now get our Sannies back. Let's bring them up to here where they can support the engagement. BD Arm 2 is not detecting anything where it is. Uh, I'm going to just move it over very slightly. From here, it should be able to see into pretty much the whole uh, area. Oh, there we go. It takes one enemy unit. There's something over here. We're not sure what it is. Oh, it is an anti-air unit. So, oh, well, it looks like we're firing at it. No, it's not an anti-air unit. The triangle is at it's a tank destroyer. This is a Conqueror's unit. That's a great target. It's not a great target for our Heinz because they're shooting at it from the wrong angle. Let's tell them to hold fire. And we'll bring them around here. And we'll get them to engage from this side. Although they've already destroyed one of them. Oh, they're being fired at by um, probably Estrella. So we'll just bring them back. They've wandered into Estrella range. But if I bring them to about here. I thought I ordered them to hold fire, but they are still firing. They're down to 44% ammunition. Let's just order a hold fire. Bring them around to here. Oh, we've got an artillery strike. Let's bring, let's counter barrage that with artillery. Who are they shooting at? Oh, they're smoking us. Okay, that means, oh, we actually have an engagement happening over here. I haven't even noticed. Um, the good news is we're pretty well entrenched here. Um, they are hitting us with artillery, but we have our supply vehicles that will deal with any injuries we take. Let's bring these guys around here. I want to try and take out this anti-tank unit. I'll tell them, I'll tell them off, hold fire, and I'll give them an attack order on this. And as long as they stay, can they not see them from here? Oh, that's not good. Maybe I should bring them to here. I don't want to bring them too close. I don't want them to be engaged by that Strella. Things are looking okay here. I'm gonna just gonna hold this hard point. They're attacking us front on. We're entrenched. It's gonna be a slow fight, but we are gonna win it. That's the Conqueror's unit wiped out. Let's bring the helicopters back to repair and rearm. Gonna fly them all the way back here, which will take some time. Once we've defeated this attack, we're going to... Oh, there's an artillery unit here. Let's put a, a napalm strike on these guys here. And then what we'll probably do is we'll push forward with the T-72s once they're reinforced um, to deal with the artillery unit that's back here. So here comes the SU-24s. I should have just retreated that T-72 unit, so they're just going to hit the Shilkas. Which are actually probably not the best choice. Uh, not the best unit to attack, but there's one napalm strike. Though there, there's a... One of them, one of them did, neither of them actually seem to have fired particularly well. Um, so that wasn't the greatest strike. Let's drop in our heavy artillery barrage on this. That's the Shilka group pushed back. We are taking a lot of smoke. That's off mass smoke that's coming in on us here. If we wait a couple of seconds, I'm actually going to move the supply vehicles here. What will happen is when this, when this engagement ends, we'll be able to reinforce these units. Did we lose a T-72 or is it dish damage? It's just damage. We'll repair and reinforce and then we're going to prepare an attack on facility. We know there's an anti-air unit here. And there's probably going to be a rifleman unit inside. So I'm going to bring a tank unit up, park them on the hill to provide covering fire. We'll get our BTRs to come down, both of them towards the location. We'll smoke the area. Then when we're in um, infantry attack range, we'll dismount our, our riflemen and get them to attack. There is more up -map, so much off-map artillery hitting us at the moment, which is a little bit upsetting. They know where we are. These this this tank this tank unit is ready, so I'm going to bring it. If we're up here, yeah, they've got great vision. Oh, there is actually an enemy tank unit coming in. Oops, I tried to cancel the move I was doing. We, we do have another uh, unit coming in here. I don't want to be stuck just doing static fighting for the whole, this whole engagement, but let's just push them back. How are we doing with our repairs on our... So, 59%. Our uh, mortars are actually engaged in these riflemen. Okay, we've got an attack coming with 3-5 to five platoons, so they are trying to attack us back quite heavily. As you can see, they're not really cracking us. We're, we're holding this very, very well. The um, command units are really helping out with that. Okay. We've got a couple of seconds here. I want to try and take facility before that attack arrives. So I'm going to bring these T-72s up to here, where they've got great commanding field of fire over the facility. We're going to get these riflemen into their vehicles and bring them over here where they can get repaired ahead of attacking. These guys here are ready to go as well. And we're going to smoke out facility and just drive towards it once the this BTR-7... Oh, we've actually lost one of them. That's why it's taking the damage. They're actually at max durability. They're not going to get repaired anymore. This 84% shows wear and tear over the battle. So we're going to start with a, an artillery smoke barrage here to smoke out anything that's in this location. Then I'm going to order the BTR-70 here to advance, the BTR-70 here to advance. Let's see what we can find. The smoke will stop them from returning fire as we cover the open ground. 
and they'll supply spawning information back to our T-72s, which will supply, provide support fire. Apologies if you can hear me drinking coffee. But not, what's a war game without some coffee? No sign of any enemies so far. Something back here. Let's get it engaged with the T-72s. Should bring our helicopters up. We're taking fire. Okay, there's something in here. So we're going to drop napalm on it. I'm going to try and hit that um, Strela as well with the napalm. These riflemen are probably close enough when they're here and they're outside the napalm range. Don't want to get them to dismount in just a second. They are taking artillery fire. So let's get them to dismount. And now they're actually engaging with all of their weapons, not just their, um... Here comes the napalm. He took a, he took a Strela hit, unfortunately, so he pulled out. But the second one should make it. Yeah, that's a solid hit. We're gonna dismount these riflemen when they get to the trees. Actually, they have been dismounted the whole time. That was a mistake on my part, but at least they're moving forward. This, this shooter back here is getting bombarded and shot up by the tanks. We're actually decapping facility right now. We could call that, we can't call that shooter back in. Okay, they're pulling out. That's them um, retreating. I'm going to retreat this BTR unit so they can repair and rearm. That was a good, was that an AT shot? That was probably um, an RPG. Let's bring these guys forward. Zone captured into a defensive position, so what, what, yeah, fusion's quite good from here. And we'll bring the BRDM also forward. If I put it here, it doesn't have a great vision. If I put it here, it's fantastic vision. Let's put it here so we can see enemy advancements. That was a pretty good engagement. I'm pretty happy with how that went. We found the anti-air unit. Yeah, this unit here is panicking and retreating. We didn't really lose anything on that engagement. There's one Strela left here. We've got an enemy enemy pushing in from up here now. Let's retreat our T-72s. We haven't lost any of them yet. So now we've got to deal with this engagement, this attack here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit them with an artillery barrage because these tanks are just sitting back here. Looks like we've cleared everything out in this region. I'm just going to get this area reinforced. We do have those enemy um, artillery units to deal with. Let's bring up our Heinz and get them just to attack this attack from the side. There's lots of units coming in. I'm waiting for these T-72s to get repaired and rearmed before I bring them back to the front line. We also should now have 36 seconds before the riflemen are ready. How many supplies do we have left? 96 supplies. Okay, I think these guys are now engaged, so they're not actually able to... Um, get resupplied anymore, so let's just bring them forward. That's a BMP-1 that's coming in. That's a much more advanced infantry transport than what we've been dealing with so far. But the Hinds are doing good work from the sides. Have we lost a Hind? No, two Hinds there. Okay, that's that attack pushed back. Let's get the Hinds back to repair and rearm before we have another engagement. So we've just, we've just defended that uh, attack. That was the one that we got the radio intercept about. So our next objective is to take NASA. Now NASA's gonna be a lot harder. We could stage some units in this forest here. We we'll probably need to take clearing first to do that. Uh, we don't have a lot of time to take Naza. It's going to be quite hard to do this. There is um, a unit here launching artillery at us. Let's wait for everyone to resupply. How many supplies do we have left? 96. Because they're still being engaged, they won't resupply yet. Um, this, this rifleman unit is undamaged and unhurt. What I could do, if I want to play a risky, is mount them back up, bring them to the forest here in preparation to push towards NASA. We could bring the BADRM with them too. It means we're kind of leapfrogging clearing, but clearing's worth 25 points, NASA's worth 75. I really want to grab this for later in this um, this this operation, if I can. Sani's here took counter battery fire. I wasn't paying attention to that, but that's okay. They didn't seem to have taken too much damage. Let's bring them forward to here. Helicopters are coming into land. We should have our riflemen back. Let's bring them over here. We'll use the riflemen mostly for this this attack. Probably supported by one unit of T-72s. The T-72s we have here are now both max uh, veterancy, which is pretty pretty fantastic. They will hold on to that veterancy for the whole operation. 
Okay, we've got another attack coming with two to four platoons. So what I'm thinking is we'll defend against that attack and then we'll, we will counterattack once that's come through. What we don't want to do now is push our units out of a defensive lo location like this and get intercepted on the way and have to fight in the open, maybe being attacked from the side. That, that's not a good engagement for us. Uh, we've got 100% ammo on the hinds. Let's bring them up here, but I'm going to tell them to hold fire so that we don't worry about them firing off their missiles too early. What I am going to do is I'm going to order the BRDM to here to see what it can spot. Now, that's not a, the best location, but we'll creep it forward to this tree line when it's there, um, and we'll start seeing what we can understand about the situation at NASA. There's no other better cover, really, from that location there. The pace of this game is quite slow, but it means that I feel like I can make tactical decisions without having to pause all the time, which is how I normally play a lot of RTT games, is lots of pausing, and so far I haven't really needed to pause too much. Now, these are pretty simple engagements. We're just fighting, you know, third echelon um, Eastern German Cold War units against each other. We don't have any crazy weapons available to us here. There's, I mean, that, that, that Conqueror's unit, actually, that we just fought, that's quite scary to see. Um, I don't have any ATGM carriers like that, not ATGM tow carriers like that. Um... Although I do have Heinz, and that is a these are a huge force multiplier for me. Um, their speed and their ability to get around the battlefield is pretty crazy. The HQ radius of this, by the way, is pretty large. That's the radius that the HQ unit um, supports units. I've actually got them quite far forward. Oh, we found some riflemen. Um, have they seen us? Because that's not good for us if they have. What we could do is get the Heinz to wipe them out. Are they firing? Oh, the, the mortars are firing at them. And there's a the counter battery fire. From over here somewhere. There it is. Let's hit that with our heavy artillery. It's not really going to damage them, but it is going to get them to stop shooting. Let's just move our mortars so they don't continue to take fire from them. We'll move our riflemen as well, just so they're not quite in that, our, that field of fire. It actually looks like they're okay where they are. What else is I get the BDRM to sit here. So we can reveal these, these guys. And we're going to bring the Heinz in close um, so they can use their guns. Doesn't look like the riflemen have spotted these, the BDR dam. Which is good. Oh, they have spotted them now. <laughs> oh, there's something here with a man pad. I'll have to retreat them. Get you close enough to use your machine guns. Because they can just cut down. Um, there you go. Now they're firing their chain guns. There's only one rifleman left in the squad. That's also Max Vetched our. Uh, our helicopters. They're gonna wipe this unit out very quickly. If their last tow can kill the last BMP. Oh, there's one more BMP. There's actually two more BMPs. One more BMP. That's it. The squad's done. Let's get you back. The um, Strela fire they took was from a man pad carried by that squad. Okay, we actually got some T-55s engaging us over here. Um, they're attacking us from an oblique angle, which is actually quite good for them. We've lost. We haven't lost this tank yet. These T-55s are panicking and they're down. That's good. The angling of our T-72s wasn't ideal there. Here comes more artillery fire. Let's, um, I'm gonna detach this, these T-72s to actually come and kill this artillery unit. Because they're annoying me, basically. Uh, let's get both of our rifleman units up into this forest. Ready to push on to NASA. And we'll bring the tanks up this way. Once this unit here has been repaired and rearmed, we'll get them moving forward. I'm trying to build up some supply points here as well so we can make it a, a decent engagement. Can you guys please get back in your vehicle? Thank you. And we'll bring the um, mortars up to about... Probably about here. Gives, we'll give them a good field of fire. Oh, what have we found in the, in the woods here? Reservists. They're attacking us with reservists in BTR-152s. I don't think they're going to last very long against a T-72. Um, let's just soften them up with some artillery. There's the there's the um, mortars there. There's also more mortars over here. With three minutes left to try and take Naza, we're running out of time. Yeah, there's the artillery on them. They just lost 20 men. They're now rushing the T-72s, which will bring them in machine gun range. There goes those tanks. Can you attack the, um... They're just rushing the tanks. We might actually need to bring our T-72s back. Um, because this is quite a serious... These guys have RPGs. This is one way to do it, I guess. I don't think they're going to do much damage, though. I think they're out of infantry. There's 23 left. 14 left. 
The good news is our rear shalom guys are helping. Yeah, okay. That was fine. Right. We don't have a lot of time here, so I'm now going to move our T-72s to here. We're going to have to get ready to, to make this engagement happen. Let's bring our hind up as well. We've got two minutes. I, the problem is I need to worry about capture time. I'm actually going to get these guys to fast move. Um, I'm going to do an opening barrage here. We're going to drop smoke. And then we're going to advance with our riflemen. Here comes the rifleman now. Here comes the smoke now. I'm going to move in as the smoke hits. And the tank should be in a position to support fire from the other direction once we get a bit closer. Tanks are under attack. I think they're taking mortar fire. Yeah, they're taking mortar fire. As long as they keep driving, that won't bother them. There's one unit. We're going to drop heavy artillery on it. I don't have enough points for napalm. Actually, if I wait two seconds, I'll have napalm. 29. That bar is the infantry dismounting. We're going to take some casualties here. I'm pushing really hard. There's T-72s right in front of us. Um, let's drop napalm here. Make sure it's not going to hit our guys. I shouldn't have stopped right in front of the T-72s. Let's actually move our riflemen here. So they're attacking from the side. They've been suppressed. Oh, they've just popped smoke and run away. Okay, we just routed that unit. Here comes the, the napalm strike. Let's bring these guys back. I don't want them to hit by accident. Our T-72s are engaging as well. I'm just going to give them an attack move order. We've got 1 minute 29 to take Naza. Okay, that's them running. I'm going to bring our units up into the town. So we're starting to capture it. And I think we're going to be able to take it. We didn't even use the hinds there. I forgot to bring them into the, the fight. Yeah, this is a proper artillery unit that's been shelling us. That's the range it's got. You can see them here. Oh, there's something over here. Let's send the Heinz over here to deal with this. Actually, if I do that, they'll just, they'll just shoot this. Okay, we're decapping Naza now. We have one minute left. The T-72 is going to be okay against these riflemen. Are they totally entrenched? They are. What we'll do is I'm going to retreat one unit of tanks and get it to drive around like this and engage from this direction. I don't think our Heinz have enough ammo left to take out these units over here. Naz is being captured here. They are here. Heinz, can you please kill this? I hope this isn't an anti-air unit. It's probably an infantry unit guarding the call-in. Oh, they've decided to shoot at it instead. Oh, let's just get them out of here. I'm going to retreat them. We only have 20 seconds left in the phase. Zone capture. Oh, we lost a tank just... No, we haven't lost a tank there. I'm actually going to retreat these guys. Let's just not have a fight we need to worry about. We'll be attacking those riflemen from too close, actually. And in 30 seconds, we will have completed all of the objectives I wanted to complete. We haven't taken clearing, but we got NASA and facility, which is tons of operational authority points. We've now routed those riflemen, which is great, and we're avoiding the retaliatory um, strike from over here. We haven't lost any units that I'm aware of, apart from some infantry. Uh, we haven't lost any tanks. We haven't lost any helicopters. I'm pretty happy with how this has gone. The two assaults we did were pretty textbook. And that is the end of the phase. Okay, so here we can see we lost 15 uh, units. They lost 79. We had 37 wounded. They had 237. Um, totals for the phase was 55 versus 331. Uh, we lost two vehicles throughout that. One of them was a, was a BMP, I think. We may have lost a tank as well, maybe. Uh, we lost no helicopter. We did lose a plane, which is very bad of me. I should not have called those airstrikes in on positions I hadn't checked for anti-air. Um, one of our T-72s killed three BMP 1Ps, three mortars, Two BTR 70s, two T 72s, two T 2 This is their kill count on this this group here. Fantastic. Um, our Heinz killed quite a lot of BMPs as well. Two BMP dash one dashes and two, sorry, three BMP dash one dashes and two BMP one piece. I don't know what these designations mean. Somebody's told me that the T seventy two um, M is a um, an export model, and the M one I think is a decent export model without the um, What's it called? It hasn't got the the uh, tow rockets. So that's the main thing. But we've got our victory points, um, and that has put us into a situation that we can move on to the next phase.
So we'll just do a quick overview of the next phase, but we're not going to do anything for it in this video. We've got 214 operational authority points, which is great. We've got tons of money to play with. We'll definitely be looking at upgrading our um, HQ squad. Um, so uh, operation log, we've got some new things here. So we'll just talk about those. So we've got some for phase two. I actually read these. I don't know why it's showing they're not being read. Um, but Fugue is our new one. With the four elements of the so-called Free Republic Deutschland taken out, we're free to proceed to their central rallying point. Recon elements report the rebels have entrenched in the industrial center cluster ahead, clear it out, and then Poland note one. Solidensk de demonstrations and general riots were breaking out all across Poland. As one Soviet colonel put it, we expected the main supply routes through Poland would be cut by NATO deep strikes, not by worker strikes. Whoever was holding the reins of power in Moscow that month, was it Jezov, but decided that martial law won't cut it in a situation as crucial as that. North Group of Forces was reinforced with whatever elements of the Belarusian military district managed to mobilize. The lack of anti-riot training had to be compensated with overwhelming firepower. So the Russians are dealing with a very difficult situation with people basically um, turning against them on, in their own territory. And they're having to uh, scramble and bring military units up to deal with that, which is probably causing them a few problems. But anyway, that's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I thought my tactics were much better than the last one. Um, Happy New Year to everybody. This is my first video in the new year. And um, there's a lot more coming. All of the High Fleet 3 stuff is almost there. Um, but for now, I'll catch you in the next video. Ciao for now.